Yeah. First one, you just hold here and you just leave like this. So, you just hit down a couple of times, just give a try, and it will pass. Fine. And otherwise, this one. Yeah, even if it is painful, I think you can be a bit of pain. Fine. So what we do, we pass it and place uh, behind the ear for a few seconds and uh, when patients stop hearing, we bring it in front, let's see. And make sure just holding this handle only, not holding the prongs. Example is looking for how are you dealing with these instruments. Still here? Okay, you can still here. What does it mean? Air yeah. conduction is more than warm conduction. Let's check in order. Yeah. Okay, so air was better here as well. So air conduction more than bone conduction, meaning he is normal or sensory neural, yeah. Conductive is out. Conductive is out, conductive is not there at all. So now what we're gonna do, we buzz it and this time we're gonna place it on the forehead and we'll see where it is going. So now, John, I'm going to buzz it again. This time, I'm going to place it on your forehead. Please tell me which ear you can hear better. Or you don't hear at all. Or it is same on both the sides. Yeah? Equal. So what's the problem with my patient? Oh. He's not. Right. But if it's going to little like to some place on uh, uh, one side, then it is a fine day. Right. So let me give you, then you uh, just give me the fine day. So if I say in front, air conduction more than bone conduction. No. Air conduction more than bone conduction. No. But if I say right side, yes. 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 so it means patient has got left sided sensitive neural hearing loss. Because sensitive neural hearing loss, the weather is going to neutralize to the opposite side. Another example in front. At the back, back is, I think. So, bone conduction more than air conduction, air conduction more than bone conduction. What do you think here? Conduction. Where weather should go? Same side. Left side. Conductive is not left side. Easy and the most important one. In front, in front, and left side. Right side sensitivity loss. Verbalize it nicely. My patient has got air conduction more than bone conduction in both the ears. That means it's really positive. Whether it applies to the left side, my patient has got right side sensitivity loss. We can verbalize it nicely. Fine. That's your hearing test. Then we're left with the balance test. I think balance test also we have done some of them. So, what you do, gait, rhombus, you can do. You can do marching test as well. How it is done? We tell the patient to stand up, facing towards them. Start uh, thumbs up here, yeah, like this. Start marching on the place. Close your eyes. <laughs> you can relax now. So this is marching. The name suggests marching. So what you're doing, standing up and marching. Then close the eyes. That's normal. But if there is any tablet to the patient will move to the other side of the room. Why marching? But patient is marching on the place only, he's not moving with his leg. So that's what can be done now in marching test. Rest, I think, we have done in test. Yes, right, so they, they are a lot of things. You have got inspection, then you have got palpation, you have got rotoscopy, you have got hearing test, you have got balance test. How much time do you need? Six minutes, maybe, I think. Then you know. Yeah, five, six minutes uh, easily. Again, you know, you don't have that much of time. So, how are we going to manage it? We'll see. You will take a bit of history. I will, we'll see. We have got some time. We have got a bit more in the history as well. But we are not doing everything in the examination. We'll be doing it according to the history. So, who has the mic? Yeah, pass it off to your friends. So, Right, is it on? Yeah. yeah. So, you are in the A and E, your patient is John, 20 years of age, presented to the hospital with pain in the ear, talk to him, address his concern, and the mannequin is there, so I'm not talking about it. Hello. 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 Hello.
Yes. I'm John. I'm connecting to Dr. Ambar pain in my right ear. Alright. Uh, can you please tell me more? Yeah, the pain is there. It's been a uh, couple of days. Uh, okay. Uh, we're taking paracetamol three tablets daily, which is helping, but the pain is not going away completely, and that's why I came here. Alright. So it's nothing further you need, right? Mm. And anything else that's uh, happening with it? Uh, with pain, like what? Like discharge. There is no discharge. And hearing loss. There is no hearing loss. No hearing loss no. in both ears. Yes. Okay. Um, any other symptoms occurring with the pain? Like. No. Uh, any fever? Yes, I do have from last three four days. Okay. I'm taking paracetamol. Okay. Any headache? No headache. Okay, so did you get a bit of idea what's happening? Yeah? Yeah. 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 Fine. So one thing, I gave you things in right ear. Please ask from the other ear as well. Because then only we'll be able to decide am I going to give antibiotics or not. You have to be very careful in that. Now tell me this otitis media can lead to what? What can the host do? The exam is looking for that only. Are you asking questions for that or not? Okay. So I said, I've got pain in my right ear, which is there for the last three, four days. I've been taking paracetamol. I said, I've got fever as well. And then you can ask me any photophobia, any rash. No photophobia, no rash. Good one. What about other ear? Other ear is fine, doctor. Then you ask me hearing loss. I said, no. That is also very important because later on, when you come for examination, you won't give that much importance to the hearing test because I don't have that problem. Because if I'm hearing, hearing loss, I think I can appreciate that. Isn't it? So you need to give more importance to the other thing in the examination. So anything else you want to ask in the history? Uh, past. Before we go into the past, let's stay present. Huh? Next stiffness, no. Photophobia, no. Rash, no. Maybe I can ask for balance problem as well. See, in eye and every ear station, you are looking for infection, for example, hearing test, balance test. Ask those things. Uh, if there's a balance problem, I'll go in more detail of inner ear problem, labyrinthitis or the vestibular neuritis or uh, a DPT or an ostic neuroma or venous. I'll look into that direction. But when there is uh, no balance problem, there is no fullness, then I won't think about that. So that's why you need to take history to rule out other things. And it's going helpful in deciding what you're going to do for the examination as well. Right. So uh, what we got? Pain for the last three, four days, same uh, fever also we have got, no hearing loss, no balance problem, no fullness of the ear. What else? Ringing, no. Swelling. Swelling. Where? Ear. You will get to know, I don't know. We'll do palpation, I don't know. Any other question in the history? Previous flu. What you will do with previous flu? I have flu, fever now. Any trauma now? Travel. That would be important. I mean, uh, better trauma. So, no air travel. No swimming if you want to know. Yes, same. Yes, no medical condition. Medication. Want the paracetamol? I'm allergic to penicillin. Very important because we might be giving antibiotics yeah. there. So please don't miss this question of allergy. Doctor, I'm allergic to penicillin. Keep that in mind, uh, let's and see. Can you tell me what happened? Uh, how did you find out? Yes, uh, I was a kid, uh, I was given penicillin, I got rash. And then I was told by the doctor that at any time if somebody is asking, I should tell this. Okay, thank you for that. Um, uh, you swim? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> because that's a respected as well. I mean, if a patient has got infection, and swimming is going to make things worse. So that is also good. Smoking alcohol, if you want to ask. Nothing to yeah, do again. Right. So what I would suggest spend around 15 minutes, yeah, in the history. So I'm giving you three minutes. What you would like to do, I'll give you the finding, what you want to do. Okay, Let me put the slide up first. Just a second. Yes. Why is uh, temperature 38 rest normal? Okay, and then ear examination. What do you want to do in here? You uh, start inspection. with inspection. So you have already spent 30 seconds, nothing is there in inspection. Next. Okay, palpation. Palpation. So uh, uh, there is no finding uh, on palpation as well. Okay, 
Dragon's uh, test is negative. And uh, I would like to proceed with um, the result of the scope. right side attack is media. Six minutes bell. And Yes. Why you are not doing balance test? Why you are not doing hearing test? There is a reason behind it. Because the patient didn't give that fighting mode. So also, I mean, uh, uh, it is a fighting media is kind of very clear from the history as well. Yeah. Of course, after doing this, we can always mention IP and finish my year exam. Right? But you need to have an idea about the time management as well. So what's the management for this patient? Um, antibiotics. Antibiotics always we don't give. Are you going to give antibiotics to this patient? No. When you give? Huh? If both the ears infection is there, discharge is there, patient is systemically unwell, fever is not subsiding, and it's in two weeks time, maybe we can give. But it's not like all the time we will be giving it. Right? So we might consider giving uh, antibiotics. So that's why asking about both the ears is going to be very, very important. Yeah. Right? Uh, symptomatic like uh, pumping for fever, drink plenty of water, that can be mentioned. Avoid swimming, if you Avoid swimming right. And if you have to give antibiotics, which antibiotic you will give? Analytic to waste. That's So which one? Yeah. According to the hospital protocol, but I'll take care, I won't give you hospital. Right. So maybe uh, we can give plebiscomites for it. And please do not forget to give the warning signs of meningitis and that would be the case, right? So now we've got a bit of idea like uh, how the history is gonna take you for the examination as well. Yeah. Let's take one of one more example. Pass it on. Yeah, so it's like infection in both the ears. If there is discharge coming and if patient is systemically unwell, we can give antibiotics. Uh, and if the fever is not subsiding in like say two weeks time, we can the criteria for children are different. We'll discuss it together. So, if we cannot recall the names of the antibiotics, who cares? Nobody knows. 